Welcome friends to .NET Funda .com. In this article, we are trying to retrieve the external app settings value into the ASPX page. Let's see how it works. First, we'll have to create a web, uh, web config file in my case because I have a, a web application. Here, I have a specified app setting. Under app setting, I want to place uh, uh, some more app settings into some external file so I have kept app settings and file styles then my config dot config this is my external config file that I have, I have kept into a styles folder here you can see its content it should only contain the app settings apart from that it should not contain any other node so I have kept, kept here app settings and the benefit of keeping that external app setting is that I can I can specify my app setting inside the web config file as well as into my external app setting file however if you have kept uh, the key value in both of the uh, file same like if I specify my key here and I specify my key here as well then this will override the key that has been specified into the uh, web config file now let us uh, try and see how it works so let's execute this application so I run this application you can see that app setting value from web.config file is 12 you can see my web.config file value is my key so here my key is 12 and app setting value from external app setting file that is my value one coming from external myconfig.config file you can see my key that is specified into myconfig.config file that is my external config file here there are a few couple of points that you should uh, note when you are working with external uh, app setting file is specified in this article you can go to dotnetfunda.com and read this article you can keep your app setting keys and values both in your web.config file or app.config file or your external app setting here I want to say that if you are creating a web application then you should keep your you naturally will keep your app setting into web.config if you are creating a windows application then you will your app setting will be under the app uh, under the app.config file if you specify the same key into your web.config file or external app setting then external app setting key value will be overridden uh, and your web config file value will be lost the extension name of the external app setting file can be anything you can you can specify dot xml or config one or anything you like you will not be able to specify more than one ex uh, external app setting file because more duplicate app setting uh, uh, tag, tags are not allowed inside the web.config or app.config file you cannot uh, specify another external app setting file from within the external app setting for example I cannot uh, specify another file and the name here because it will throw an error and uh, if you modify the key value of your external app setting file let's say suppose you are modifying here while your application is running it will not get affected unless you have restarted your system uh, restarted your application to restart the application you can simply modify your web.config file a little bit and your and uh, rerun it and your application will restart the external app setting config file must contain only app setting node as I told you earlier and then you can keep this external app setting file into any of the folders and you can specify the path something like this path should be starting with the root folder so you can see my root, uh, styles is under my root folder here to get the value from the external uh, app setting or from the web.config file or app.config file you just follow the same uh, simple way you will have to use system.configuration namespace and configuration manager dot app setting and get and this will be the key of that you will specify into web dot config or app dot config or your external app setting file. I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you very much and
keep visiting dotnetfunda.com and contributing this thank you